Hello there, many thanks for joining us and welcome to News Across Nigeria, where we keep you informed of what's happening now across the Nigerian Federation. I'm Olumide Macaulay on today's program. INEX sets a date for elections in Ondo State. With Benway State Staff Verification Exercise. And in the South-South, Delta State to establish agro-industrial parks. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin with electoral matters in the Southwest. All is now set for the governorship election in Ondo State as the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, have announced November the 26th, 2016, for the polls to hold. And to ensure that this is hitch-free, the electoral body is preparing the minds of politicians and other participants on the need to conduct themselves in line with the Electoral Act. Now, at a meeting held in Akure, the state capital, dispute resolution, the use of dialogue and consultations are methods INEC believes will help concerning disagreements that can be settled without necessarily approaching the court of law. Gathered here are INEC facilitators, politicians from the major political parties and of course civil society groups. Flagging of the day's event, the administrative secretary of INEC, Kabir Omosonya, reminded the group of the difficulty in pursuing electoral cases, especially because in most of them it's very time consuming. So what's the alternative? Litigation is rarely associated with compromise solution, very expensive oriented, time consuming and invidiously cumbersome for quick resolution of disputes. It is the result or outcome of compromise by the parties in which they consent to an informal resolution of the dispute through a tacit or patient undertaking to accept the decision or resolution emerging from the reference of the dispute to a third party. An observer group that echoes the views of INEC on settling disputes out of court. Because conflicts are inevitable. The contestation for power. In a state, only one person will emerge as the governor. And we have so many people who are ably qualified. So it's such that people struggle, struggle, and at the end of the day, if it's not well managed, we have casualties. In this part of the world, electoral dispute is almost inevitable, and that's because most politicians find it difficult to accept defeat after elections. And that is what this gathering is trying to address. Alternative uh, dispute resolution uh, will bring a, normally bring a lasting solution because when you sit down at the round table and talk it over, it makes uh, the friendship more stronger, it makes the relationship more stronger than the court. Alternative uh, dispute resolution at least we enhance and reduce the cost of litigation. It's just two months away to their own dog governorship elections, and what INEC is trying to achieve is to prepare the minds of politicians that such litigations should not be the first option when electoral disputes come to play. From the southwest, INEC is also very busy in the south-south, ahead of the governorship elections in Edo State. The Independent National Electoral Commission has begun the distribution of non-sensitive material. The resident electoral commissioner, Mr. Sam Olumekun, says INEC's timetable for the polls is still on course, but appeal to people to collect their permanent voter cards. Of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, preparing to dispatch non sensitive election materials for the Edo 2016 governorship election at the INEC headquarters in Benin City, the Edo State Capital. The election tools are set for distribution to the 18 local government areas of Edo State. Preparation for the September 10, 2016 polls is now in the advanced stages as INEC also concludes training of ad hoc staff who will serve as supervisory presiding officers. 
These civil servants from federal establishments and other persons drafted to work during the Edo 2016 governorship election are taking part in INEC training sessions. The resident electoral commissioner for Edo State, Mr. Sam Olumekun, says INEC would do a proper screening of the makeshift staff. This group, they play a key role because they will now go down to train the other ad hoc staff. Indeed, that is really the focus. And so when you hear people saying we have uh, trained, we have uh, uh, appointed some people on partisan basis, that is why it looks ridiculous. These ones are going out there to train those who will preside during the elections. So that's why we have to be very careful in our choice. And they are people of uh, credibility. He also noted that the number of uncollected permanent voter cards with INEC is a source of great concern. Cards in the disposal, at the disposal of uh, INEC as we speak is in excess of 400,000. We have been calling on people to come out and pick up their cards if they are genuine, but they have not been showing up. So which cards are, these, are people purchasing? In any event, the last exercise we did, we are expecting to have the cards any moment from now and we will start distributing also. The Independent National Electoral Commission is showing full commitment to conducting a credible and fair 2016 governorship polls in Edo State. Away from elections but staying with party politics, the leadership tussle threatening to tear apart the People's Democratic Party at the national level is also affecting the party's unity at the states. In Imo State, party members and their leaders are divided into two factions, the Amodu Sharif camp and the Ahmed Makafi group. The dispute is over the control of the party structure. But to douse the tension, the Makafi group has set up an 18-man reconciliation committee to look into the matter. One political party, two factions. That's the burden that the People's Democratic Party is bearing for now. The latest confusion facing the party is who controls the party's political structure. Both the Sharif and Makarfi factions in Imo State have continued to lay claim to the ownership structure of the state working committee with different state chairmen. The Congress itself, by all legal parameters, made the demands of the law, unlike few of our brothers who chose to draw a funny set of leads at a different beer palace around the Bariwagwa, Botagot Road, and Amakoya over the North Edge. For us, or working with uh, Baristan Nandianyehe, Ezekwem has not come to us, he has not returned home to say he's either chairman or he wants to make peace with us. So we'll cross that bridge when we see him. We haven't seen him. To reconcile both factions and resolve internal frictions is the objective of a briefing in Oweri, the state capital. The Ahmed Makarfe led faction, led by Chief Charles Ezequim, explains that it has set up an 18 man reconciliation committee led by former PDP governorship aspirants in the state, Professor Jude Njoku. The Congress, which produced the present status quo of PDP Imo State under my chairmanship, complied in total with the express provision of Part 5, Section 85 1 of 2010 Electoral Act as amended. Therefore, in the spirit of reconciliation, we have set up an 18 man reconciliation committee headed by a renowned public administrator and former vice chancellor of Federal University of Technology, Owere, Professor Jude Njoku, as chairman. Meanwhile, they are not giving up the fight easily as the sheriff faction, which is Barrister Namdi Anyehi, as the state chairman, insists that his group remains the legally constituted working committee of the PDP in the state. They are a bit confused because they are trying to promote a campaign organization into a political party chapter in the state. And we said no. We cannot use a political campaign organization of a would-be aspirant as an alternative to the political party in the state. That is where the matter is. Some people are hiding under my coffee to promote their campaign organization or their personal structure as the PDP state working committee or state executive committee as the case may be, which we will not allow much as we love peace. With a move for reconciliation and peace talks by the Makarafi faction, hopefully both factions will come together and reconcile for peace. 
You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, economic development is the focus in Ogun State as a uh, deal is signed to develop cotton production. Please stay with us.